with me now is Sean Frazier, the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship. Minister, good morning. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. I want to begin by getting your reaction to Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow's calls to, first of all, set up some sort of processing center right by Pearson, similar to what she said was being used when Ukrainian refugees arrived here. Is that a feasible solution? Is that on the table? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the question. My sole interest is making sure that we have a, a functioning uh, system that allows us to provide protection to some of the world's most vulnerable. To the extent that there are ideas that are generated by the City of Toronto or the Mayor's Office, of course, we're going to consider them in good faith. I think for our part, it's important that we were able to come up with uh, sufficient uh, financial support to ensure that we provide an immediate relief to the people who found themselves uh, without shelter in the City of Toronto and in other communities as well. Uh, we're willing to work with the City of Toronto for unique solutions, potentially the one that the mayor has suggested. Uh, before we pass judgment on it, of course, we're going to want to do our homework to make sure that it makes sense and that we have the capacity to deliver that kind of solution. Yeah, and I think you're referring to that $97 million that was announced by the federal government earlier this week. Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow said that was not going to go very far, that that is just essentially a Band-Aid, and it doesn't address the bigger issue of providing shelter for refugees. So there's an important distinction that I think has been lost in the mix. Uh, though the general public might view this to be semantics, it's very important to understand that when we're dealing with refugees, people who've been brought in deliberately through government programs, we have extensive supports, income supports for their families and funding for the organizations that provide services to them, including helping them find housing, provide language training, employment assistance, and, and other measures. There's a distinction between people who come through those programs and asylum seekers who have fled violence, war, and persecution, but were not brought in through a formal government program. The funding that we put in place is meant to address the interim housing challenges for those vulnerable asylum seekers. The amount that we put forward is the precise amount the City of Toronto have, had requested just a few months ago. And I note that while the mayor is indicating she'd like to see more cash, uh, they recently put up about $6 million compared to a federal investment of $212 million for the country, $97 million of which is going to help address this challenge in the City of Toronto. We're going to come to the table with serious money, but we want to make sure that we're building this uh, into the housing uh, conversation more generally so we can deal predictably with the people who are going to continue to seek safe haven in Canada, who may arrive outside of government programs where additional funding is also provided. So all of those people, and we've seen the pictures, the images of people sleeping on the streets, you're telling us that they weren't brought in through government programs? All of those people have shelter? There is a plan for those people? Uh, we're seeking clarity from the City of Toronto as to who some of the ind individuals may be, and it may be difficult for them to identify with precision each individual, depending on how long they stay, whether they've come in and out. But when you see the images uh, of people who are on the sidewalk, it's important that we don't point fingers at one level of a government or another. We just need to find solutions. Uh, we came to the table yesterday with the precise amount the city had requested just a few months ago. We want to implement a solution that recognizes all governments uh, have a, a role to play, including the federal government, but also the province and the city. Going forward, we would like to build this conversation into the negotiations we have around housing more broadly, because we know that the trend globally is that more and more people are becoming displaced. More and more people will seek Canada's protection, both through our formal programs and outside of those programs. The people we decide to bring in will receive the federal support that all refugees receive. The people who get here on their own are going to have to benefit from programs that we develop in concert with other levels of government to make sure that people are supported as they seek Canada's protection. These are not easy conversations, but I don't think Canadians will accept the City of Toronto continuing to choose to deny access to the shelter system in the city uh, when they're coming to seek protection, when they didn't have a choice to flee their country of origin. So when do discussions resume? What's next? So we have made a decision uh, that we announced just yesterday that we were going to provide $212 million nationally, 97 million of which is going to the city of Toronto. I should note the Peel region and Durham are facing unique pressures as well, and we're working with them to identify solutions. That will be the federal contribution this fiscal year to interim housing uh, supports for asylum seekers. 
to the extent that we want to have conversations about support beyond this fiscal year, we're going to have to have conversations about how we build out the shelter capacity and housing supply in the city of Toronto and across Canada more broadly. That is a much bigger conversation because people who come here on their own, not through a federal program, are going to tap into the same housing supply that Canadians tap into, the same shelter system that Canadians tap into. We should build this uh, into, uh, recognize that it's a fact of life that people will seek Canada's protection and build these negotiations into our housing conversations more broadly. When it comes to those that the government of Canada decides to bring in, we will continue to be there with income supports and funding for settlement agencies. When it comes to asylum seekers, the $97 million should more than account for the interim housing solutions based on the information the City of Toronto has provided to the federal government today. Sean Fraser is the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship. Minister, thank you so much.